Hey, welcome to Faulkner Fixes All. And uh, we're going to spot weld this little patch on a 1964 door. Uh, this is how I'm doing it. I cut this out. I cut this big rusty hole out. And I put a piece of metal underneath brand new clean metal. Cleaned this up. Drilled some holes. Got my little handy dandy hold it in place while I tack it. Hope it works tool. <laughs> it should be alright. I'm going to tack this, all these holes, take this off, unthread that bolt, then I'll cut a new patch out of steel, not cardboard, and it'll go in here, and then I'll tack it in. Now, uh, I already did this side. And there is a, you can't see it because it's covered up, but it's all brand new metal under there. If you remember, there was this aluminum plate right here. Got rid of that. And then there was this damaged piece here. And uh, we cut that out. And I put new metal in here. You can't see it obviously, it's underneath the Bondo. But the genius that repaired this before me put a lot of extra holes and so I had to I had to weld those up and there were some that just spider webbed and spider webbing is when the metal just goes away when you weld it. Um, I can't show you any right now because it's all underneath this Bondo. But there was a little edge here that was rusty and I just couldn't weld on it. Um, but I did get the new metal in there, so when this is all smooth, it'll look pretty good. It's kind of tacky right now, and you're not supposed to sand Bondo when it's tacky. And this was the little bullet hole, and that's going to be sanded over. Um, but without further ado, we, you and me, we're, we are going to weld this right now. So here we go. Now on this first one, it might be helpful to have my helmet. <laughs> I'm gonna put my helmet on. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Blind welding. Okay, so on this first one, we're gonna hold this down because the uh, piece of metal underneath is a little bit low, and I don't want this to get. I don't want to start here and get up here and have a big gap. So. I really like the way this fits on the bottom. So I'm going to push down and we're going to weld these first three. And yeah, I'm going to weld with one hand. It's going to be great. Oh, look at that. So I release the pressure kind of lightly on that. Not all at once, because if you release it all at once, it might pop. But this looks pretty good now. We'll do one more, and then I'll just go around the circle. not great and started a spider web. Uh, this is what I'm talking about spider webbing. I will show you right now. When you're dealing with rusted old metal. So that is spider webbing. That metal is just going away. It's just too rusty. Probably because I was welding it with one hand, but still, I don't dare touch that with the MIG again. That has to be filled with Bondo. Okay, so we're going to go around and hit all these other ones. When I get like four or five, we'll take this clamp off. 
Put you back up in here. Sorry for the delay. More work and less talk. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, I think I can take this off now. Good. The bolt fell down in there. <laughs> so when I get this new, not this one, but one that's like this but not rusty, it'll cover that hole. And we'll grind all this off and put it in there. I got a few more to go. Here we go. So right now, I'm going to try to try to do a no-no. There's a few that I can probably hit and make so not spidery. I'm not going to touch this one again, but I think I'm going to try to get that one and maybe with some of these lower ones. Less Bondo. Okay, I don't dare go any further. Uh, I know the sound of metal when it starts to when it starts to spider web. It makes this weird "I'm not welding" sound, and uh, we're gonna stop right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this new piece that fits in here. And there's a nice little template here. I can probably cut out and get it pretty close. If we get it pretty close, we can come in and just tack it. And um, obviously this, ow, that's hot. This hole will be covered up because there'll be a new piece of metal on there. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see what's going on here. This stuff is just too rusty. It was welding because I reached the welder in and got the clean stuff. And it just managed to get some of the bad stuff and hold on, which is fine. So right now there's a spider web there. That started to spider web. I don't dare touch that again. And this one, I don't dare touch that. So I'll grind this all down, make the new piece, tack it in, and filler time. That's what this will be. But it is better than this. And it's better... And this piece was down here. And here is the, uh, the soda can technique that I don't use. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now. We're doing pretty good.
and uh, signing off.